What's up guys, it's your boy Damone, and welcome to another heartfelt video. <laughs> Today we're going to be talking about my experience with Wyvern, um, and uh, I, I, I figured since, you know, I felt myself raging, like over the past couple of days trying to, you know, get my team together and figure this out, um, I completely understand why my team is ineffective. Um, so like, you know, I'm autoing nine right now. Um, and I'm getting closer and closer to Wyvern 10 Auto. And it's so funny, like, as I make these mistakes, <laughs> I'm like, ah, this could have all been avoided if only I did X, Y, Z, right? Uh, so I want to kind of share those X, Y, Z moments with you guys. So you guys, like, for those of you guys who are starting out, maybe you guys just cleared 10, 10, you guys are like, all right, cool, now I got to get into my Wyvern, Wyvern team, whatever. Uh, now I, I got to put this together. And uh, so, you know, how do I even start a team? Now, <laughs> again, right now, I'm not in the position to teach. You know, at least I, I don't feel that I am because, like I said, I'm not in 10 yet. I'm not autoing 10 yet. I don't know the perfect uh, strategy for 10 yet. But I do know the mistakes that I've made along the way that if I would have not, or if I would have adjusted the strategy, the my approach to this uh, quite a bit, um, I would have found a lot more success, right? I wouldn't have been spinning my wheels right now. So like I said before in other videos, guys, you guys let me spin the wheels, uh, make the mistakes, frustrate myself, and what I learned from that I'll share with you guys. Um, so, so far, guys, there's a couple of things that I've learned from from, from Wyvern um, that are, are very, 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 very important to your success. Now, here, let me show you guys a team uh, that... that I initially started well I'm still kind of working on right now it's 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 always 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 a work in progress where's my uh, Wyvern team at okay that's not my Wyvern team uh, where's my Wyvern team okay here we go so let, let, let's let's start with this team now initially when I started out before Surin was a thing um, before I pulled Surin um, I was running basically a variation of this team except I was running Elson in the front I was running Tiaria, Elson and Tiaria plus um, I don't even remember <laughs> that's how important it was uh, but let me show you guys an example of what I mean by mistakes so I was running I was running a bunch of units okay and I understood that I needed to apply a harmful effect on the boss Okay, now what kind of took me back a little bit was when I got to Wyvern 9, when I got to floor 9, then I realized that life had more in store for me in terms of frustration. Uh, because I realized once you get to Wyvern 9, you need to apply at least two negative effects or the boss will get two turns every single time. Which isn't a bad thing if, um, you know, if, if you can tank the hits. Which is great, because my front line can, but the rest of my team cannot, okay? Which led me to another thing, that if your team is too slow, you die. Unless, again, you're tanky enough, which is normally not the case. Because <laughs> who the hell has four units right now with over 10k HP? Now this guy, <laughs> okay? Now this guy. <laughs> Alright, so... Once I get to Wyvern 9, I realize, okay, I need to apply two negative effects. And the problem with that was, ours, that means that within a certain window, right? So, uh, just to kind of give you guys a breakdown of my team, uh, what, what will happen is my Tiara is fast enough, and then so my Tiara will go, and then after she increases the combat readiness because of her passive, then that means I have three turns to deal at least two harmful effects, okay? Or if maybe in your case it's one harmful effect if you guys are pre-9. I recommend just prepping yourself right now for two harmful effects. So start to think about this right now. Even if you're in Wyvern 1, 2, 3, whatever, think about this now. Prepare for the two effects because it's going to happen. And it literally shook my whole frame up. Because before, I was just plottering through. I was like, ah, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'll get lucky. Oh, uh, you know, I'll just get a bunch of stats. If I get more HP, more defense, right? Plus up my chest piece and all this other nonsense. And I was like, if I just get the stats, I'll be okay. Um, and like I said, once I got to 9, I was rudely awakened, all right? And, uh... So what I realized is, okay, I was like, all right, I have basically a, a, a turn window, okay, which I mean by after Tiaria goes, if she doesn't apply a harmful effect, then the, the other three units in my team have to apply a harmful effect or somebody, the potential for somebody dying is, is pretty high, okay? Um, when I looked at that, I was like, all right, cool, that's no problem. I'm just going to throw units in my team that deal harmful effects on one, which is good, 
but then the issue is this. Um, I place such an emphasis on just trying to get better gear, get better gear, get better gear. That's just tier five up, tier six up. I wasn't really concerned. Like I was kind of moderately concerned about what the stats were on my rings and stuff like that. But I was just trying to plus, 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 plus gear, which involved a lot of wasting coin. Um, and in order, it, and as a result, I created units that were ineffective. Now, let me explain to you guys what I mean by ineffective. Ineffective means that knowing that I need to land harmful effects, I want you guys to look at this effectiveness. Now, this effectiveness, uh, how effectiveness works is it weighs against their resistance. Now, in Wyvern, once you get to Wyvern 9, 70% uh, resistance. Wyvern 10, same thing, 70% resistance. Um, so, uh, my goal now that I understand is I'm shooting for 70% effectiveness, okay? Without, without, without an effectiveness, <laughs> in, without an effectiveness ring, right? So, I'm trying to get like, you know, 8% effectiveness on each item, especially for units that apply negative effects. Are the ways around this? Can I run a mage and put the card that uh, applies random negative effect? Absolutely, but it still needs to be to a point where I apply two negative effects before uh, the you know the wyvern gets a turn. Period. So I realized it's like okay, cool. So how could I've done this differently? If I would have when I started gathering gear, if I would have started looking at my gear and paying attention to the substats on my gear. Like, okay, like, cool, I want crit rate for my damage dealers. I definitely want attack percent, definitely want crit damage. I would have definitely started looking for effectiveness, okay? Instead of just being like, oh, I got crit rate, like I would in Summoner's War and just roll with it, okay? Because um, in Summoner's War, like the game that I used to play, it's like um, there are certain units that need effectiveness or accuracy, as we used to call it, but most units really don't. So I didn't really care about it. I was like, yeah, whatever. Um, but in this game, especially if you're building a Wyvern team, it's very important. Okay, now there's a way around this. So like, if you guys aren't, um, you know, if you guys aren't privy or you guys really aren't in the business of building four units with 70% effectiveness, uh, there are some ways that I found that you can get around this. And that way is to, you know, work on units that deal multiple harmful effects. Now I wish I would have knew this up front, um, because if I would have known this up front. I would have did this up front, but I didn't. Okay, so uh, what I also found is in order to alleviate that pain, like units like Surin, units like uh, Cigarette, okay? Units like Alexa, okay? Where's my girl Alexa at? Uh, she's in here somewhere. But Alexa, the water uh, connection that they give you guys for free. Um, units like uh, Haste, units like... Yeah, those those are primarily the units I think that I found. Oh, and Bale and Cezanne, the, the you know for those of you guys who think he's 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 not that great. Uh, any any unit legit that deals multiple harmful effects on one skill are literally literally life saving in Wyvern. Cause like, let's just take Alexa for example. Um, she's a three star unit. Okay. Uh, where's she at? Where's she at? Where's she at? Uh, let's just take Alexa. I talked a little bit about her for my replacements for Curious video. But like, um, when you look at Alexa, the beautiful thing about it, she gives herself extra turns, okay? So the chances of her putting up this 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 skill 2, and this skill 2 is huge, uh, mainly because it's a 3 turn cooldown. So if she's giving herself an extra turn, extra turn, extra turn, extra turn, and you battle relatively fast with high effectiveness, uh, she can keep the poison stacks up on your team. So like if you're running a unit, and this is why I'm considering building her legit today, um, is when I look at Surin and I look at Alexa in both of those positions, if I run a healer in the front or, you know, like let's say DN or something with a barrier, uh, it gives me that window that I need in order for my team to get up there and it gives me more chances to deal harmful effects. Um, so it's, it's just one of those things where... <laughs> Applying harmful effects to, to to the boss and wyvern is is literally make or break on your team. Okay, like if you don't, especially when you get to the higher floors, if you don't apply the harmful effects, the chances of your team failing increase like ridiculous. It's stupid. Okay, um, so that's one of the things that that I've been running into that I'm working to correct. I'm I'm looking for that the, those finite numbers like. Like, all right, look, guys, if I could say if you have this much HP, if you have this much defense, if you have this much speed, um, you know, you'll find success. So in the quest for finding those numbers, like I'm experimenting with a bunch of things, trying different stuff, uh, seeing, who, you know, where the, where the team falls apart and where it's falling apart legit is the harmful effects. Now, with those harmful effects, it doesn't matter what they are. 
I found, but the most important one that you need to have on your team is defense break, period, okay? Period. The reason being is because let's say you you got your guys you guys have a team that's more tanky and you guys aren't worried about the speed because you can survive the first couple of hits so no biggie. Once that shield comes up because he's gonna go twice he's gonna have a double turn and if you can sustain your team he'll go twice and then you'll go and if you don't apply the harmful effects he'll go twice again and then um, then the boss will have uh, that little fly ability. We I believe I can fly right and they'll put a shield up. If you cannot get through that shield and or apply a glan glancing hit or basically the little eye thing, chance to miss, and attack break, if you don't apply those things, um, when he does his little swoop, if you can't get down the shield, you will probably die, okay? Period. Okay, you'll probably die. Unless you're running a full water team and you get lucky and he misses or whatever, <laughs> like you'll die. But let's just call it that. So, um... It becomes really, really important to to kind of to kind of maintain the mechanics of your team structurally, so that way your team is doing this consistently. So you know, those are a couple of things that I would look at. So the big thing is that I found, like, if you know, if I can really go back in time and like look at my Wyvern team, like let's say start from scratch with all the units that I have, I would really look at positioning my team faster. Okay, so overall, I'm looking at uh, paying attention to like speed subsets on my on my runes. So like, if I'm building a damage dealer, the ideal build for me is going to be speed, crit rate, crit damage, and effectiveness. Okay, period. Speed, crit rate, crit damage, effectiveness. Because the the Wyvern doesn't have much health, and if he can only attack once, pretty much any unit in your box that's five or six star with decent gear is going to be able to tank that. So I'm looking at speed, crit rate, crit damage, and effectiveness for all of my attackers. For my, uh, for my supports, uh, if I was doing this all over again, I'm looking for speed, HP, defense, and if they apply negative effects, like not like Angelica because their stun doesn't matter, if they apply negative effects, then I'm looking for effectiveness for like speed, HP, and defense, like speed, defense, HP, and effectiveness. If, they ca if, if it doesn't matter, so like if I'm building DN um, and I don't need effectiveness, then I'm going for effect resistance, okay? So that's what I'm looking at when I'm building this team. I'm looking at trying to get as much health as possible, as much stability um, as possible on my units and any unit that matters. So like Requiem Roar, um, you know, I'd have to get like 70% effectiveness. Um, I'd have to get, you know, as much speed as I can. So like, you know, 190 speed for Weber 9, 210 speed for Weber 10. Um, and, and just consistently build those stats over time. And then here's another thing, guys. Um, I had a tendency to to kind of try to blast through these floors. Uh, but don't be afraid to like farm the previous floor that you're on. So like if you're in Wyvern 8, farm Wyvern 8. It drops six star crafting mats, albeit not as much as Wyvern 9. But if that's what you have to do to get yourself in a strong position to get to nine, then do that. If you gotta farm Wyvern 9 a lot to get yourself in a position to farm Wyvern 10, then do that. But trust me from personal experience and a lot of wanting to break my phone in half, <laughs> if you guys, uh, kind of approach this understanding that effectiveness is key, harmful effects are key, specifically defense break, attack break is really nice too, and so is a chance to miss. Like, if you go into this understanding that as you build your Wyvern team, you're going to want to apply two negative effects before the boss gets a turn, if you think about it like that, it will make your Wyvern process so much easier. Um, so, again guys, um, <laughs> I'm not really in a position to be like, hey, this is what you need to do, you know? So as like, as, as the student going through the game, I wanted to share with you guys the lessons that I'm learning along the way. And hopefully, hopefully these lessons are able to kind of help you guys out. Um, as I find out new tips and new tricks and new stuff, um, during this journey, this process, I'll share them with you. Um, and people have been asking me on Twitch all the time, like, yo, D, um, you know, when are you going to come out with these comprehensive guys like you used to do for Summoner's War? Um, and my answer to that is when I'm in a position to give comprehensive guides. <laughs> right now, I'm kind of like the student walking the path um, and, and kind of sharing these experiences with you guys. So trust and believe, like, as soon as I get there and I'm in a position to really sit down and formulate, all right, look, these are the stats. This is what you need. This is what you need to make happen to do this and to position yourself for this. And this is the most optimal way. Those, those guys will come. So with that being said, guys, uh, I just want to take this 
this time to say thank you uh, to the community. Uh, apologies, I read the patch notes before, the, the translated patch notes before I read the global patch notes, so I'd assume that Curious was getting nerfed again, um, but she is not, so again, my bad, I effed up, that's my fault. Um, but again, thank you guys. I appreciate all of your tremendous support. Uh, we're going to continue cranking these videos out, Epic 7, for I don't know how many years, but we're going to hit it hard, man. I love y'all. You guys have a wonderful day. Hopefully, this video was able to help you guys. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns about specific team builds, let me know in the comment box below, um, and then we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.